Hi everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time visiting. Welcome back if you've been before. Lovely to have you either way. On this channel we talk books and today I'm doing something a little bit different um, <clears throat> because I've um, indulged. <laughs> I've treated myself to something that I normally would not buy. Now, I on this channel we mostly talk about books but I am definitely also a tea girl and so when I saw uh, people talking about the collaboration that Penguin Books Australia did with uh, T2, a tea company here in Australia, um, I was intrigued and I wanted to find out for myself what it was about. I had a look online I went to great lengths because uh, one of these boxes had sold out in quite a lot of the stores. Um, but what what what's happened is I've bought two of the boxes, and I'm going to unbox them for you today. I have not opened these yet, but I do vaguely know what's inside. So I bought two. Um, the first one that I picked up was this one, which is the mystery and thriller box. Um, so this includes. A copy of The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, it has several teas as well, which include French Earl Grey, Green Rose and The Quiet Mind. And then there is a mug that goes with it. So that was one of the boxes I bought. The one that was a little bit more difficult to acquire was this one which was the romance box and inside this one is a copy of Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. It has three teas as well, Jasmine Pear, Melbourne Breakfast and New York Breakfast along with its own mug. So I thought we might start with, we'll come to this one later because this is the one that you might find a bit harder to get if you're here in Australia. Um, so I thought we'll start with the one that does seem to still have a bit of availability. I don't know if they're going to reissue these a bit later in the year. I think they'd be crazy not to because I think they're definitely the kind of thing that people would jump on as per evidenced here. Um, so <laughs> uh, let's start with this box here. Hopefully if you are interested you'll be able to get yourself a copy, um, a copy, a box um, as well. So this is the mystery box so let's open it up. Now please bear with me because I'm not normally an unboxing channel so I'm not really used to the, uh, the things that are required of an unboxing channel. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. Slow, okay. The lid is off. <clears throat> oh my goodness, so cute. All right, let's start I think with the mug because I'm worried about that falling out. Whoop. Um, so here is the mug, Whoop. can you see? There we go. That's the design, which I think is pretty cool. And on the inside of the mug is a quote, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read there, so I will read it to you. It says, it is more than possible, it is probable, Arthur Conan Doyle. So as you're drinking your tea, you get to think about mystery. <laughs> um, so I'm quite excited about this mug. I think it's really beautiful, sort of like an art deco I think style and I don't know if you can see in the details there but there's like a little pipe here a little clock there so lots of like little details an umbrella uh, a f what appears to be a flower but it looks like it's in iced water very strange anyway we've got lots of cool little details on there along with just like a really striking design and then I think the exciting bit we'll come to the book at the end but what I love is that the tea boxes the boxes that have the tea inside are shaped like a penguin book and also they're um they are sort of matched with other books that you can get as penguin classics so this one the quiet mind is matched with a taste of we have always lived in the castle by Shirley Jackson. So we have all, always lived in the castle is a book I would love to read at some point, but have not yet had a chance to. Uh, this one is Green Rose, A Taste of the High Window by Raymond Chandler. That's the 
tea inside there. And then this, I love this purple. That's beautiful. That's the French Earl Grey. I've been drinking Earl Grey recently, like very recently, and really enjoying it. French Earl Grey I don't think I've tried before, so I don't know what makes it slightly different to normal uh, uh, Earl Grey, because Earl Grey has the bergamot flavour. Um, this one also has hibiscus, rose petals, sunflower petals, uh, and mallow flowers. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, and this one is uh, Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. So those are the teas right there. I'm just going to pop these down in a safe place so I don't knock them down. And then the exciting part. So this is not the book. This is the box. The book is in. Um, so this is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. <gasps> so exciting. And this is the cover of the book. So as you can see, it matches the cup. It's matchy matchy, which we love a bit of matchy matchy. Um, and these are exclusive editions, as far as I'm aware. I don't think they've come out elsewhere. So it'll it says T2 on the spine. Um, it's red, but it's sort of still that kind of classic penguin overall design, but with this beautiful um, design on the cover. The end, there's also end paper designs, which ooh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but they're really, really beautiful also. T2T exclusive tea and books editions. Yeah. I don't think normal penguins have end papers, so that's really cool. So that's that box and the book. These are going to look adorable on the shelf. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> so that's that one. All right, let's pop that one out of the way. That's all that's in the box, I believe. I don't think there's anything else. It's just box structural stuff. So, out of the way. Okay. Now we come on to the romance box, which I'm quite excited about. Oh rid of the belly band here it is it's such a beautiful box also um, which is very exciting concentration face <sighs> oh it's pretty okay, first of all I'll show you the innards because that's gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let me show you the mug. Whoop. Here it is. Whoop. I've gone too, too fast. Hang on, let me turn the light around so you can see. It's beautiful. So this one doesn't have any hidden elements in the design. It's just a gorgeous floral design, which I love. And, of course, there's also quote on the inside so that is and the quote is whatever our souls are made of his and mine are the same uh, so that is the classic the classic Wuthering Heights uh, quote um, so that is the mug very excited about that mug it is absolutely beautiful so as a set the design wise they don't really go together but of course because they're they have the gold rim they've got the exact same size I think they just look beautiful. There are two other boxes that I was a bit less interested in, and as they're quite expensive, I decided to limit myself to just the two. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the teas now. So this one is the New York Breakfast, A Taste of Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. I have actually read that one. Um, so that's that one. Very exciting. Then we've got... The Melbourne Breakfast, which is A Taste of Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. That's that one. These boxes are so cute. They're going to look really cute stacked somewhere in my house. And Jasmine Pear, A Taste of Persuasion by Jane Austen. I've read that one as well. Very, very nice. Okay. So those are the rom romance box teas. Whoop, let me move them out of the way so they're not obstructing your view 
Right, let's get rid of this box. Let's have a look at the book. So the book is, of course, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Turn the light so you can see. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh, of course, matching the design of the cup. Beautiful. And let's have a look at the end papers. Oh, stunning also. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, let me grab the other book out for you so we can look at them side by side. And then look at them. Oh, so satisfying. So they, you kind of don't even get the hint of it from just looking at the spine because they just look like a penguin book, but of course they have the T2 there. And then you pull them out of the shelf and you've got this gorgeous design. I love it. I think it was worth it. <laughs> They're very expensive, these boxes, so that's hence limiting myself to the two. And I think um, the other two designs, so there was another one that's uh, just a general fiction and that had a copy of Pride and Prejudice. Um, I didn't like the design as much on that one and also the quote that was on, on the inside lip of the cup was an odd choice, I thought, for uh, Pride and Prejudice, which is a book that is that I love. Um, and then the other book was hmm, Dracula, I think, and it was sort of like the horror um, book. And it was, uh, the design on it, on the book, was looked really cool on the book, but on the mug... I felt didn't look as nice um, so maybe that's just me I don't know but yeah that was my take on <laughs> on the boxes and that's why I ended up choosing these two because I just thought the designs on these are just beautiful um, and I was very happy to own these books so very excited thank you so much for indulging me as i have indulged myself in purchasing these boxes but indulging me in doing an unboxing video which is not my shtick at all so thank you i hope i've done it justice and that you've been able to see everything you'd like to see um, from these boxes but yeah hopefully they'll be reissuing them maybe closer to christmas because i think these are like a really great gift to give to someone who is a book lover um because yeah who wouldn't want these on their shelves gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so um this is i uh, also should just state not a, st a sponsored post i used my own money to buy these um so yeah but i mean if t2 or um or Penguin Australia would love to sponsor me, please, please feel free to reach out. <laughs> would love to get the other two boxes as well and complete my set and also get more tea. That would be great. But yeah, a bit expensive for uh, for buying all four boxes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.